Welcome to this special interview where we'll get to focus on growing the maize crop in the right way, with the right uh, fertilizers. In my midst, of course, is uh, Mr. Uh, Siankoni Zulu, who is, of course, an agronomist from ETG. Welcome to the show, sir. Afternoon, thank you. Maybe you can just uh, briefly uh, describe the stages and when uh, that farmer can apply the fertilizer. Coming to a top dressing, um, this is when um, you bring in your, 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 your top dressing, such as urea, the kinoplast. Uh, it can come uh, some in a layman's way. Some, they, they, they make sure that the, the, the maize reaches in a knee high. But remember, we have different heights. So if, if we are talking of uh, those colleagues who are a bit uh, shorter, uh, meaning that the, the, the knee high, uh, it could be mean for the best of time of application, not the top dressing. But hey, uh, you can do your top dressing at 60 uh, to 70 centimeters of the crop, which is the corn or the main. So at that point, you make sure that you do your top dressing we, we have also brought in a very good, unique product called Kinoplus. And so Kinoplus, uh, this is prior to the normal standard urea, which almost every farmer knows that it's coming in a white color kind of fertilizer. But <clears throat> what we've done also is to bring in what we call um, Kinoplus. It's a coated product, you might be aware. And um, we, we are using what we call um, uh, inhibitor, urea inhibitor. Okay, so what we want to do is to make sure that the crop accesses nitrogen for a longer period of time. And uh, agrotene, it's one of the uh, prominent uh, nitrogen inhibitor you can move around the world and it has proven to be very, very unique and uh, it's doing a very good job. So um, nitrogen losses uh, in many uh, maize productivity is one of the major challenges when it comes to crop productivity. So yes, uh, to answer your question, we have these two major uh, kind of uh, uh, nutritional values. But again, there's an uh, elastic component. I always mention this, that there's a need for us to satisfy the feeding of the crop. How are you going to satisfy the feeding of the crop? By supplementing, uh, by using what we call foliar. And so your foliar fertilizer should come at, at a high most twice in a life, a life cycle of, of, of maize or corn uh, productivity. So at the time of you doing the last uh, top dressing fertilizer, remember, if you're going to use a normal standard urea, the white urea we know, you need to apply your urea or you need to split your application into twice, meaning you need to apply two times. The reason is simple. As I said, there are what we call challenges of one, the volatilization. Okay. Secondly, the leaching. If you have heavy downpour just after applying your urea, it will be easily uh, reached out in the soil. Uh, so to the farmers that are currently mixing um, uh, urea and D, what, what are the implications or what are uh, some of the faults that they might notice in the maize field? That's actually... Uh, a drawback. A drawback in the sense that you are not meeting the requirements of the crop productivity, especially on the corn, the maize. So as I said, you remember, I have mentioned that each particular uh, element has got its role in terms of to play around when it, it comes to crop productivity. So if you are going to, to bring in your base of fertilizer, as well as your top dressing fertilizer, at the level uh, of let's say 60 to 70 centimeters high, when the crop is almost tasseling, we are missing it out. Remember, it starts from the base. Um, the maize has got what we call uh, stalks. And stalks, this is the like a main stem where the cobs will be standing on. And if it's going to be compromised, if you're not going to have stable uh, stems or vigor growth from the way you go, you're compromising uh, in terms of uh, what is going to come later on. So it's, it's always good that you bring in the base of fertilizer at its own right time. So that was uh, Mr. Sianconi Zulu giving us insights on how you can manage the maize crop.